We are coming to the end of an era for Coco. This is my last night in this flat. I'm quite sad about it. I am finishing it exactly how I started. Unfortunately, my flatmate Lauren couldn't be here tonight. She wasn't here on the first night that we stayed here either, but you know, come full circle i will see her tomorrow and that's the most important thing because we're moving into our new flat tomorrow with two other girls who i'm so excited to live with i cannot get over how quickly time goes by i have been in northern ireland in belfast for over a year and i was supposed to move home this may but then i decided i wasn't ready and I want to stay here until the end of summer so i'm moving in to one other place just for summer and then i will be going back to england i just i can't believe how fast it's gone like it genuinely feels like yesterday that i moved in here and i was so scared and i was so emotional like if you go back and watch my early vlogs from belfast like i was in tears pretty much all the time and if i didn't show it in videos it was absolutely happening outside of videos but i feel so settled now and happy of course as soon as i'm settled like everything's changing again and i feel really sad but happy and excited funny thing is i haven't even seen the house that i'm moving into tomorrow both times that we were supposed to go and view it first time i was at work so i couldn't go and the second time we went to view the house but then the estate agent forgot but fuck it like i'm only there for like two months before i leave so i don't really care what my room looks like i just want a roof over my head you know the first time you guys are seeing it is literally the first time that i'm seeing it this is my last night and i haven't started packing classic me leaving literally everything until the last minute i'm only moving like down the street so you know i'm just gonna fill up my car as many times as it takes and it's not like i'm driving 10 hours from england to another country again so yeah i'm not too stressed out so yeah i'm moving in the morning i'm moving in the morning We're gonna cry. is move day i don't look like me with my hair like this but i need it out of my face anyway i've got myself into some like workout kit i'm gonna be walking up and down the stairs moving heavy things i just want to be comfortable next on the to-do list i'm going to start washing my clothes i think whilst that's all in i'm going to start packing my books because i've got so many luckily i bought a suitcase this year so hopefully they'll fit in there i'm hiding the chaos that is behind me right now my room is a mess
aren't fitting. So yeah, I've done two big suitcases of books, but no more are fitting. And I've even like culled some of the books that I didn't really like or that I'm just not gonna read. Mainly John Green books, no offense to John Green. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the rest of my books. I might just have to like go to the new place, unpack my books and then come back with the two suitcases. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna get started on my clothes because I have a lot of them. And I know I'm just going to use bin bags for them because they're just clothes and they can mould and like get into the gaps in my car pretty well. This is already just much harder than I remember. Slow down for a minute Don't write her a letter Trying to feel something is horrendous it's like flared up because of all of the stress that i've been putting through i've cleaned everything out so is lauren we've cleaned everywhere and i'm just gonna give you the last look of my room came did not flee the east spoke the same had the same dream same pain and same feelings staring at the sea and what was left of me So I just literally didn't do anything, didn't unpack anything because I was so tired. I also think I'm getting sick. You can hear it in my voice. Moving day was so strenuous. My body hurts and it really tired me out. I also have been very emotional because of this high stress week. I just feel like I'm on the verge of tears all the time. <laughs> 
and I need to unpack my bedroom so kindly my flatmates actually pretty much unpacked all of my kitchen things whilst I was at work so I don't have to do any of that but my room is a fucking dip that's the big job for today I also really want to go to Ikea and get a few little bits and bobs which I kind of forgot to bring with me and also like we need as a house i really just want to do that now but i know that i'll regret not doing my bedroom first and then i've got some really really disgusting bananas that i want to make into a banana bread there's so much crap underneath my bed like you don't want to see I myself to last time. anyway i'm just gonna start getting stuff done because it's gonna be a long day another long day You know when you just wake up and you just feel a bit shit morning voice all that business also i have done like the bulk of everything like my room's much more clear and i don't feel like i've got that much to do left i'm gonna do something with my books because i don't like they kind of look cool there but at the same time i haven't read some of these books so i need to organize them in a way where i've got like a tbr pile blah 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 i also think i could use this space better like to put things on top of so there's not really much else space for me to put my books apart from here like if i line them up against this wall and make kind of like a feature it could be very impractical and i might have to change it at a later date for now i think it could be the thing Ikea haul. Also I went to Hobbycraft. So the first thing that I got from Ikea is actually not what I went in for. I went in for this specific mushroom lamp, the one that I saw on TikTok. But when I saw it in person, I wasn't really sure about it. I was like, 
that's not exactly what I thought it looked like. They didn't even have it in stock, so it doesn't matter. So instead I ended up getting like this smaller mushroom lamp. It's like this tiny little mushroom. Let me try and get him out. This is him. So yeah, the light goes inside and he glows. Mushroom lamp. And if you're wondering, the name is Tokobo. Next thing I got was a over the door hanging thing. I need something to put my bags on. It's called Enuden. Okay, next thing is, oh, the most useful thing I think ever. This is my bed desk. You just sit it like this, the legs like pull out and then you, I'm very excited to use this. Lastly, I got this drying horse. It's called Frost. That is actually all I got from my here. Instead, I went to Hobbycraft and I was looking for like a three layer trolley type thing to put all of our shampoos, conditioners, body washes, whatever shower stuff on because our bathroom is quite small and there's no cabinet to put anything in. And I thought it might look quite nice. So I will build that now. No, I'll make my banana bread. So I got that and also I'm really, really excited for this because I haven't done something like this since I was like 10. I thought I would surprise my flatmates and get us each a paint by numbers. I thought it would be fun for us all to like just have some drinks and do some paint by numbers. That's just a little surprise that I got. That is my little haul. Time to tour. Let's go outside the bedroom. So here's my door. When you walk in, this is what it looks like. This is the little cubby bit where my drawers are. My other one was much bigger, but you know what? It still fits everything in it. That is this section. And then over here, I've got the first of a few wall decorations you know i like doing this i think i did more in my last room but because it was a bigger room it looked like less but yeah on the back of the door i've got a little wall hook thingy that i got from ikea the other day and that's really useful for my bags so yeah that's my door and then if we go my kind of book station i'll give you a pan down okay so books Let's talk. You know what, I haven't read this one, but I wanted it to be with the other two in the trilogy. But all of these are red, all of these are red, all of these are red. But this is my like TBR pile. And then I just slotted in 
by graphic novels. I've gotten rid of a lot of other books. Not gotten rid, I haven't like thrown them away, but I am going to take them to charity. But it was just books that I didn't like. What's the point in keeping books that you don't like? Or they're books that I just will never pick up. Like I've had them for so long and I haven't read them yet. I'm never gonna read them. Oh, and this, this little guy is my mushroom lamp. He turns on. He's just so cute. And I think he looks cute, like, even when he's not on. My lovely bookstation, and I'm actually very happy with it. If we move straight up from that, I've got another art kind of section. This lovely print, one of my bestest friends, Imka. She actually made this, and I love it. I've got a little letter from my friends back home. Another letter, this is me and Ellie. This print I got from a girl called Ava Mali. I think it's called She Plays Bass, which I love because you know I love Bibi Doobie. But isn't this so cool? So the mirror actually came with the room. It's kind of ugly, but it's also kind of cool. It's kind of useful, but also in a very not useful place because I can't stand far back to see my outfit very well. Oh well, at least there's a mirror. And then here, a shelf. God, how lucky am I that there's a shelf? And I just thought I'd put some more books on here. I haven't read any of these actually. I'm looking forward to doing that. And then up here, I thought it would be quite useful to have next to the mirror all of my jewelry. So at the bottom of the mirror is things like my makeup and um, skincare. I don't like how it's just sitting like this out. I don't know what to do with it. There's not much space to have like a drawer or a basket. Let me know if you have any ideas with what what to do with this stuff. So if we move just over here, this is the wardrobe. It's built in, so good because it doesn't take up any room. There's my parents. I love this little picture. They're not together anymore, but I like to have pictures of them. It's just cute. Okay, and then in here, it's a little bit tricky to open. Um, oh, <laughs> my jumpers and hoodies are here. It's not very practical to be honest because it's got this above it. But then all of my t-shirts are too long and like drag across it so you can't see. I feel like it's the best option because there's not really anywhere else that I can put my hoodies. And then below that I've got my jackets and then even below those are all of my shoes which are in an absolute mess. And then in here I've got like dresses, other tops. That big hanging thing is so helpful. It's just got cardigans and all of my trousers. I have way too many. And then at the bottom this bag is full of stuff that I I just don't need right now and then extra bed sheets that is the wardrobe and then we move on to my side desk when i say side desk i mean side table this is actually a stool from ikea and then below here is an absolute mess but you can't really see it, so it's okay. I've got chargers, bloody compede, nail files, my retainers, vitamins. I'm gonna show you my secret storage. Underneath my bed, I've got like makeup, pens, pencils, art supplies. At the back of my bed, I've just got empty suitcases and bags that I used to like transport everything here. Onto the last section of my room, which is my bed. So here is my bed. I made this in like my first ever room transformation. And then on my bed, I've got my Ikea bed sheets. This is like an Urban Outfitters blanket from ages ago. Don't think they sell it anymore. This is that Ikea little bed desk. Isn't it amazing? I never thought I like would need one of these, but I'm so excited to use it to put my laptop on and edit. Above, I've got my little light. I've got my birds again that me and my sister made. And then to finish off, I've got this last little art section. This is a letter from Imka. I painted this. I've taken these pictures in Tokyo. My mom and dad again. And then a really fun thing to finish on is my washing basket from Urban Outfitters and a bin from Ikea.